Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to tell you more about this very special rear wing <laughs> and with its uh, special surprise element. So, stay tuned. So, I took this wing end plate off so it might be easier to show and show you uh, guys this wing and explain all the features about it. Um, yeah, let's uh, go, let's start it. Um, these are all foam cut. A separate foam cut pieces as you can see these grooves over here you see this is one separate piece these are all glued together so you then you have three sections so one two and there's a over there's number three uh to those foam pieces i attached these aluminium plates which are laser cut as well as the same as the foam it's all laser cut uh i, I cut these holes in it as well i threaded them uh, so this accepts these bolts as you can see you can very nice and uh, that's those bolts hold this wing end plate uh, that's why the tape is over here uh, as well so it holds the plate to the foam uh, over here it is one bolt you have this one not on the other side in between there are copper washers you can see one over there and there's one over um, in between these as well as you can see very closely you can see it uh yeah and it's only holding at one point yeah of course there's another one over there but it's one point on each uh, pillar and that is because this wing has to be able to move up because this has to serve as an air brake and you can see it is pretty straight now uh, straight up and now it's down so when I push the brake it has to go up because then you get a massive air brake uh, which creates a mass you know, way more uh, yeah, friction in the air so it has help you stop when you want to brake uh, that's why these holes over here these are threaded as well and uh, there's going to be a cable uh, from this hole over there over there over there under the frame and what i want to build is i want to build a system over here and that's why i drawn in cat is this system you see these are the attachment uh, holes this is a swing arm uh, the cable comes through from here through this if i can zoom in a little bit through this and it attaches on this uh, plate, which is well to do it here. Uh, because the brake pedal only has like three centimeters, three centimeters of play. So when I, this is on, uh, when I brake, this is when I uh, let off the brake. So when I brake, the cable pulls the swing arm. This is a travel of three centimeters to, uh, which means this upper side moves, I thought, 11 centimeters, which is the space from this to this hole. It's, this is a bit, bit, a bit bigger because they won't touch. As you can see, there's still a bit of uh, in between those. But this can travel 11 centimeters as well because of this system, which I have to build. I still have to build. Uh, I ordered this pieces of metal everything uh might be coming in next week so yeah that's what i what i want to build to real to make it happen the wing uh, can move up uh, that's why the springs are here so when i let go of the brake the wing gets to its neutral position which is like this so um of course by the way, I have to completely fiberglass everything because this, yeah, this is just foam. <laughs> way, way not strong enough. Uh, when I put everything on fiberglass, just like with th th this, quite solid. This isn't yet because I have to still have to do that. Uh, and then these aluminium plates are boxed in as well, so they're stuck to the foam, and so I can remove all the tape. So, well, that's that. Uh, yeah, as you can see, a bit more aerodynamics. Now it's flat. 
it isn't a very aggressive angle because this is the neutral angle it has as you see it's it starts flat and it goes up a bit that's just because if it's straight if it's uh, on break you can see that it's almost a straight line from up to uh, the lowest point so that's why there's a bit of curvature curvature on the end and as you can see over here that's why I draw, draw this I don't care you can see the wing everything is drawn even the bolts I've put in and so everything is built with the aerodynamics as you can see it doesn't even have that much drag because it's the way it's air comes from here and goes up yeah just a little bit but this helps to stabilize the rear end of the buggy because it's rear end heavy the front end doesn't weigh that much so it's nice to have a stable rear end so that's why this helps and when i let's see yeah let's load a bit but this is going to be the wing i have to do it by this by hand you can see the these almost touches this bolt and this bolt that is good you can see now for now it gives way more drag like that you can see the wind is a very long simulation this one you can see the wind goes up through the plane onto the plane and goes over the plane it's a bit less aggressive like that you can see against the plane over the plane and away and all the air comes from under here goes under it and then it comes back because you have a huge vacuum behind the wing so not only do you get a lot of resistance from the front you also get a vacuum on the back which act, yeah, pulls the car the wing pulls the wing back and and because the wing is attached to the car it pulls the car back so it looks all very promising you can see quite a big vacuum down there um, and it's not really a problem because there is no air coming the only air I have to uh, I need on the back is for these intakes there before the axle on the left yeah in front of the axle the vacuum if I hold this up might be yeah behind this so it's way behind the rear axle uh, yeah that's it I think it will work and even if it doesn't work it looks pretty sick but if I see the simulation I know it isn't really is uh, this program isn't really meant for this kind of simulation so it won't be a hundred percent accurate but we're not a formula one team so uh, I think this is way good enough yeah that's so that's why it only has two attachment bolts so it can move up and down uh, I have to make this construction over here completely cover the plane in fiberglass uh, and yeah weld this completely because it's just stacked together because I uh, firstly want to fiberglass everything so the form of the wing the shape of the wing is completely yeah uh, firm and then I know if I uh, tack this in the right place so yeah that's that's quite it really hyped really stoked for this project uh, this is a separate project of course I have to drive this thing uh, soon because the 12th of February is the first test drive and the 16th of April I have a event it's, uh, it's near my uh, home location I have this event where a lot of other buggies come to uh, I will film both of both of those events because I think it's going to be quite, quite some interesting footage. I ordered a GoPro cam, which I will mount, I think, over here or over here at the front. Uh, not sure about that. Just uh, is about the possibilities I can get. But yeah, really stoked, really hyped for this project. I think it's going to be going to be a great, great project, and let's hope it works. But like I said, even without it. It looks quite nuts, <laughs> to be honest. It looks very good. And I, I really love this wing. So, yeah. Let's hope it works. If you have any questions, like, subscribe. Ask those questions, please. Because I'm very enthusiastic about this, as you can probably hear. But yeah. If you're interested, like, subscribe. It really helped me. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Bye.